We already know e-mountain bikes are really capable in pretty much all scenarios. But today, we're in the woods for a tow challenge. We want to find out what an e-mountain bike is capable of towing. I've got a powerful e-mountain bike, a load of heavy objects, and a tow rope. Time to find out. Oh no, we're losing, we, oh, oh. Whoa. <laughs> the bike I am using for today's challenge is the mighty specialized Kinevo downhill bike for quite a few reasons. One, it's got a long wheelbase, so it should feel really planted, especially when I've got a load of load on that back wheel. And of course, motor choice is very important. Brose, 90 Newton meters of torque, is an absolute animal. And tire choice is definitely important too. On the rear, I've got that Maxxis Asagai, super tacky downhill tire. I've got a quite low pressure, probably about 20 PSI, so it should provide a load of grip, which is gonna be essential for dragging some of this stuff along. Naturally, the power mode that I'm gonna be using for today's challenges is of course gonna be turbo mode. Now on this bike, it gives you 400% assistance when in turbo mode, so it multiplies your efforts by four. Now, I mean, that's a lot of drive, especially when compared to a standard mountain bike. I mean, check out this challenge that I did it against Blake Sampson. Three, two, one, let's go. Oh my! There are of course lots of different options when it comes to towing with your e-mountain bikes. I mean, a great option will be this Tow Peak trailer. Great for going camping or maybe nipping down to the shops. But unfortunately, this has a weight limit of 32 kilos, something that I think we're gonna exceed pretty easily today. So I think we need to go get busy. <laughs> Must be a button or something, surely. So taking some inspiration from Ice Road Truckers, let me introduce to you the EMBN Super Hauler. Now this is a modified sack truck with an aluminum folding trolley up front, small caster wheels at the front, big inflatable off-road tires on the back, ideal for carrying a load of weight. Now the sack truck is warranted for 275 kilos, meaning that's a lot of weight. And talking of weight, let's have a look at a few objects that we've got here today. Right, time to talk weight then. Well, I've brought along my trusty bathroom scales. So first up, let's see how heavy I am. 95 kilos. Let's see how much the EMBN Super Hauler is. EMBN Super Hauler, 20 kilos. A bag of the finest Cotswold chip-ins. 20 kilos. and a 25 litre drum of water, 33 kilos. And we wouldn't be in Somerset without a big keg of the finest Lily's cider, 63 kilos. I put it in gear. Shit. and a Beta Evo trials bike. 70 kilos. And of course, our trusty cameraman, Josh. He's weighing in at a hefty 72 kilos, because we're gonna need Josh to be riding that motorbike. And I've got a feeling that we're gonna bring in some four-wheeled action too. Right, time to get towing then. I think first up, we'll keep things nice and simple. A bag of Cotswold stone weighing in at 20 kilos. The combined weight of the EMBN Super Hauler, that's gonna be 40 kilos to kick things off. Now I've actually got the rope connected right down near my rear dropout. The reason for this is that it's gonna keep that pull nice and low. I've seen a few riders connect it around the seat post. Now obviously this is a higher pivot point, so it's essentially gonna try and loop the bike out into like a wheelie position, but hopefully with that connected down there, it's gonna be a more direct line on that pull and hopefully not see me going up onto the rear wheel as much. Right, time to hit the road with the EMBN Super Hauler, 20 kilos with that 20 kilo trailer. 
40 kilos under load turbo mode. Let's go. Ah, oh, super easy. Actually, barely even notice it's there. Let's take a nice turn around here. Oh, it handles good, Josh. I'm liking it. Oh, steers as well. Look at that. I think we should load it up a bit more, maybe. So I think we need to ramp it up pretty quickly. So I'm going to go for 100 kilos combined weight on here. 80 kilos of goods combined with that 20 kilo trailer. Right, 100 kilos on there. Now that's pretty much equivalent to my own body weight. Let's see how we go. So gear choice as well as power mode is obviously very important when it comes to towing. So for that first tow, I was actually in the mid range of my cassette, but I think with 100 kilos on board, I'm gonna have to go for that easier gear. So let's just change that up a bit. Right, so I'm gonna go for gear three, I think for this one. Taking the strain and off we go. Oh, not a problem whatsoever. Oh, the trailer's not so uh, handling quite as well on this one. 100 kilos, no problem. Right, time, oh my God. For a little bit of water transportation, these are 33 kilos each. So I'm thinking if we stick a couple of these on here, actually gonna lie these down. And those gravel bags, we're gonna have a combined weight of 166 kilos. Make sure these are nicely done up. We don't want any leakages. Right, that's those down. Now I think I'm gonna strap those on, actually stop them falling off, then add these gravel on top. Right, we have 166 kilos now on the EMBN Super Hauler. This is pretty much me and our cameraman Josh combined behind the e-bike. Let's see how we go. Right, loaded her up. It's definitely a bit heavier this time. But, oh no, we're losing, we, oh, oh. It's a bit more secure now, I think. Wrap that under there. So attempt number two, 166 kilos. Let's go. Easy as that. That's me and you there, Josh. And I'm riding along one-handed. Whoa. Not so hot on turning this one. Trying to lift 170 kilos by myself. There we go. And quite big holes in this car park as well when the trailer actually goes down in those holes. You can definitely feel quite a big pull on that. <laughs> now, as great as the EMBN Super Hauler is, I think we're getting a bit of a false reading from how easy it actually could be. So I think we need to swap out the Super Hauler and get my Trials motorbike in on the mix to see how easy it is on those bigger wheels. Time then to get this Trials bike hitched up. Josh, I'm gonna need your help for this one. You're gonna have to roll, ride it, just rolling along behind the bike. I'm gonna be doing the pull-in. All right, you ready, Josh? Let's go. Ah, oh, super easy on the bigger wheels, not a problem. Right now, I was quite surprised as to how easy it was pulling the trials bike with Josh on it. That was a combined weight of 142 kilos. So I think it's time we build a land train. Crikey, this thing is heavy. Right, the EMBN land train is all hooked up and ready to go. At the rear, we're gonna have the 70 kilo Beta Evo with Josh, the cameraman on there, weighing in at 72, 72 kilos, 142 kilos combined. And up front, we have the EMBN Super Hauler, 80 kilos of Cotswold's finest stone, 60 plus kilos of Somerset's finest cider, and of course, the hauler itself, 20 kilos. So combined weight of over 300 kilos here. This is gonna be a match. Look at that, 300 kilos, Josh, in motion. Easy as that. Brought me load. Oh, oh. Oh. 
So the EMBN land train at over 300 kilos still was fairly easy to be fair. So I think it's time we ramp things up a little bit and bring in some four wheeled action. So Josh has been kindly lent his Nan's car, the Nissan Micra. Now this, although looks quite a small car, in fact weighs in at over 1,500 kilos. So over one and a half tons. So this is a bit of a jump up from the EMBN land train, but I think this could be on. Let's hitch up the Kinevo and try and find out. Right, Josh, I'm gonna need your help for this one. So this is gonna add another 72 kilos to the mix, but make sure is the handbrake is off and it's out of gear, please. No messing around. Right, definitely need to get lined up for this one. I think this is gonna be pretty interesting. Right, handbrake off, Josh. Good. Right. Easy. So the Nissan Micra didn't prove too much of a problem to be towed by the e-bike. So we thought we'd step things up and bring it to the Mercedes Sprinter long wheelbase edition. Three and a half tons of it. Wish me luck. Good, Josh. Oh my God. It is moving. Keep momentum. I think we have definitely met our limits here on the tow challenge. Three and a half tons, yes, I can move it, but only just. But the conditions aren't great. It's absolutely tipping down now. We've got a rough car park with potholes in it, and it could be slightly uphill. But I want to know what you guys think. Should we get GCN, the powerhouses involved into this? They're probably a lot stronger riding than what I am. Adding that wattage to that motor could see the Sprinter Challenge become a reality. But let us know what you think about this video down in the comments. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to us here on EMBN. And don't give me a call if you're moving house. I will not be towing your Sprinter van.